In this video I'm going to teach you the flinching method, which is a very good way to solo Tecton, as it uses very little supplies, and is pretty easy to do once you've mastered it. When you're learning, I suggest setting your quick prayers to protect melee and piety. Take a sip of your super combat or overload, and prepare your dragon warhammer special. Run into the room, and stand within a few tiles of Tecton to wake him up. Then run to the back of the room, and make sure to leave one tile of space behind you. This will be important for avoiding Tecton's attacks. Once there's a one or two tile gap between you and Tecton, click on him, and then right when he walks up to you, step one tile back. Then as soon as you see his attack animation, click back on him, and then click right back, and you should be in the cycle. This is very similar to the Guardian's Room, where you click on the monster and click right back. The only difference is, is that you're only waiting one tick after stepping back, and then you're immediately going to click on him again. Your weapon can only attack every six ticks, but it's very important to stay in this cycle, because if you stand away from him for too long, he'll go back to the anvil. I highly recommend using the melee thrall after completing Kingdom Divided, as the DPS from the thrall can help make up for him Tecton's healing at the anvil. It's important to resummon him after every anvil so he doesn't waste time walking all the way back to Tecton. Alternatively, you could also use the Vengeance spell on the Lunar Spellbook to tank the first hit and recoil the damage back to Tecton. However, this method is usually used for CMs. You can use any 6 tick weapon for this, the Elder Maul is the best, but you could also use a God Sword or just use your Dragon Warhammer with a Defender. And that's it for the video, just let me know if you have any more questions and I'll be sure to answer them. Thanks.